Okay, you guys, so today I am in Appledore, which is a town in the middle of the Netherlands. And it's been a couple hours ever since I got here by train. And so far, nobody has been able to... Oh, there's a wedding there. Nobody has been able to tell me where to find a tourist office. And in the end, uh, some woman told me that there is no tourist office in the town, so I better figure out by myself. So right now I just manage, as you can see, to get to downtown. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, pretty interesting, you know, uh, given the fact that not everybody speaks English and I don't speak a word of Dutch. But yeah, other than that, I don't know. Go figure who would find a wedding in the middle of who knows where not to be disrespectful but this is really a casualty and yeah other than that I'm looking for the they told me there is no tourist office but at the uh, city hall they might have some maps or something I don't have Wi-Fi or internet so I cannot connect with Google Maps and whatnot so I read earlier this morning in Enschede that uh, in here there's a really big park and there's a palace with a labyrinth and whatnot okay so apparently if i'm not mistaken this is this has to be a city hall and in here they're gonna give me a free map and maybe i can see some thing you know other than shops which is pretty cool and whatnot but you know i don't go to see shops in the netherlands oh, other than that i went to h&m and i grabbed a cheap pair of leggings for five euros because i really needed them and there's a bank right there. I don't know if you can read. It is called Habo Bank. But in Spanish, this is the funniest thing ever because uh, rab, rabo, which we say in Spanish, means dick. You know, so it's the dick bag. It's, it's pretty hilarious in Spanish. I don't know if you saw my Instagram when I saw that store that they sold sneakers in Anschede and it's called uh, the athlete's food and I don't know if they know that this is related to fungus on your feet but I was cracking myself up you know taking photos in there and yeah here it says Stadtquiz which means town hall and yeah I can uh, you know knowing a little bit of German a tiny bit of German and English pretty much uh, you can kind of hint some words not every word but uh, yeah like 15 minutes ago it was pouring and it was cold now I'm wearing this winter coat rainproof and I am sweaty and now it's really sunny but yeah I I'll go ahead and see if I get some logging here because in the ancient day done house how to say it here Stadtquiz, whatever um, they just hand me the map you know they hook me up with the map and good luck I was like okay yeah but the streets here in the Netherlands they're not like Spanish streets and I suppose that not like your average American streets that are straight you know here they're they're make this kind of zigzag and whatnot they're serpentine and you're walking like here and there and an S and another S and then an L it's, and it's still the same street and you're like where does this make sense why they cannot make a, stri a straight street I don't know other than the main lanes but other than that yeah I'll go in there and I'll beg for a map or I don't know it would be nice to see the palace or uh, or at least the, par the park you know downtown it's pretty but it's pretty similar to Anschede and the people in here it's like but how come you're here you know mm, there are no tourists in here there's no tourist office for a reason and i'm like okay you know i just wanted to visit around and you know amsterdam amsterdam here the it's uh two hours and a half away and it's a real expensive ticket so i wanted to visit something else and this is what i'm trying to do so i'll you know know wish me luck Okay, so get this, I'm in another country with another language and I managed, you know, this is the entry way to the palace um, It is, this is truly beautiful, like come on uh, We don't have this kind of 
tall trees and greenery in Spain, so it's really nice. And yeah, there's this paved way in there. And apparently I found the palace. Now it's got to be open because uh, for what I understood, uh, you have to pay, you know, to go and visit the palace. But there's this list on Google that showed me a maze, real cool, with, uh, I don't know, it was awesome. Like, really, like the ones you see in the movies or something like that. Uh, it's, writ it's written head below. And the locals, they say it's hello. <laughs> Almost like hello or something like that. But not. Uh, but yeah. Uh, it's pretty awesome, you know, because at the um, city hall, they told me you have to go to the AVV or something like that. And I told them no. Uh, they told me to come here. And then he gave me a map and he told me well, there's a, an hour and 15 minutes walk up until the palace. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me. I'm really tired, real sleepy. And it's not, you know, my plan to walk that far. And I don't know the route. But <laughs> then, you know, there was this. Finally, there were those teenagers, you know, and they were talking about, you know, probably about I don't know, and I went to them and I told them, uh, well, hello, look, is there something cool to do in here? And they were like, okay, uh, you can do this, that, they were really nice, plus uh, they hooked me up, you know, they told me you have to go to the bus stop, and I have to say, here in the Netherlands, even though not most people speak English, not everybody, but I don't know, I, I have no complaints every time I have gone abroad, you know, people say, oh, I've gone to so-and-so country and people were so rude to me. Uh, maybe it's the attitude that you go towards people, because, I don't know, I just got into the bus and I and they told me it's like, Hummerstrad, whatever, <laughs> you know, a really guttural a name of some sort to stop, and then there was this guy, that look really well he has he had his full face filled with tattoos but he was like so you're not from here right and I was like no it's my first time ever and yeah I would like to visit the palace and he went oh, so okay I'm gonna make sure that's the stop he went to the bus driver they spoke in Dutch <laughs> whatever they said he came back and he you know clicked for me okay this is a stop you gotta go that street and yeah People are really nice in here. I'm, I don't, I don't know. I had been in Kerkrade in south, in the southern Netherlands, back when I was 17. But you know, it was a planned trip, so uh, you know, it would be nice to have someone to walk around. But my friend is work, is working right now, two hours away. I hope I don't get lost to get back to the train station. Otherwise, I won't get back to Enschede by dinner time. But other than that, uh, so far so good. And it, it's really some big adventure you know to go traveling abroad on your own and yeah that time around I went to Kerkrade and I visited Amsterdam and now I'm in Enschede and this morning I was about to go to Munster which is Germany because I was thinking look how cool is that you know I'm in the Netherlands and then I'm in Germany and whatnot but it was really rainy and dreary and there were these workers in there and I told them look uh, today I, I am planning a day trip, you know, and I would like to uh, know whether it's better to go to Appledorn or to Münster. Which one would you recommend? And they told me Appledorn all the way, you know, it's nicer and whatnot. So here I am. Uh, I'm seeing the entryway of the palace. This garden, like, I could, I could sign up, you know, to have a backyard just like that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. It's a weird feeling for us Spaniards, you know, walking on the grass. It's something you never do, not that it's a desert land, but uh, since it doesn't rain very often, very often, uh, there there is no grass that's growing, you know. There's wilderness grass or whatever, but you don't have this, um, I don't know, this, uh, it's almost like, as if you were wearing air mats or something on your feet <laughs> and in Spain when you put your step you know you feel the stones and whatnot so yeah I hope it's open I hope I can uh, visit it 
I hope it's not real expensive because here in the Netherlands there's this thing it's really really truly expensive everything and it's not like oh it's expensive for Spanish no get this uh, I wanted to take it to buy a steak the supermarket just one steak a beef it was eight euros 75 cents I was like no joke no I, I cannot understand it this doesn't Look at this square, so beautiful. This doesn't add up to my mind, you know, country that is filled to the brim with cattle and steak, it's the most expensive thing ever. So then I was like, okay, I have to eat some protein and whatnot because I'm issues with iron and whatnot. So I finally delved into the cheapest chicken. Then it was funny, you know, my friend indicated me later because I was thinking, oh, this is a whole another story. Uh, I thought they they sold the cheese, the sliced cheese by slices, because I have 30 plus, 50 plus, and the packages were bulkier. So I thought, oh, this is gonna be pretty good, you know, uh, 30 plus, uh, it's gonna be 30, 32 slices of cheese. And yeah, I don't know, I'm gonna have to say 15. Uh, for to fill 15 sandwiches with ham or something else and I grabbed it and there were just like uh, six slices <laughs> I didn't check that because I was real sleepy to be honest and my friend was like what did you understand and I was like I don't know you guys uh, there was no Adam, Gouda or Mazda or something just like that it, 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 they, they all had of the month so this is not the slices so it's a 30 month <laughs> plus uh, okay now this is the main route I didn't know about that but look there's tourists as well and now I'm the only tourist that's going on her own because I'm that adventurous and yeah us Spaniards are pretty weird but here is a map I hope I don't get lost in here and yeah let's just check that and I don't know, maybe I, I join some tourist group that they're coming because, you know, I never been here, I have no idea what I have to visit, but we'll see about that. Look at this. Uh, we'll see if I can take pictures or anything in there. And yeah, see you soon. Bye. So here we go again. Apparently you have to pay a ticket and it's on that building over there. That I obviously, uh, didn't find because I came from another route because nobody indicated me this route which is the main route and yeah there's nothing free in the Netherlands like even going to the toilet you have to pay 50 cents 65 cents whatever but you have to pay and it's like what no in Spain is things are free I, I, I know that by, by this evening if I manage to get back to Enschede all I will do is is gonna be get the shower again you know and uh, and I say again because I'm taking a couple showers a day in here because you're walking, you, you're sweating and it's not comfortable. But other than that, um, yeah, and I'll sleep. You know, I was talking to my friend this morning. I suppose he's used to going to bed earlier in here and we were talking up till midnight last night. <laughs> and I was flipping tired and he was tired as well. But you know, it's been a long time ever since the last time we talked in person you know because he is living in here so we skype or whatever it's not the same so uh, we were catching up right and this morning i was on the train and i told him like point blank i'm real tired you guys dude like whatever and he was like yeah i'm real tired as well and i was like well at least you got coffee <laughs> you know i don't even have coffee so the first thing i've done once i've gotten in here since i'm not a big fan of coffee of any sort is to grab a coca-cola which tastes I mean coca-cola tastes different in every country we all know that it's not something it's not rocket science but what's rocket science is that if you sit down at a park to eat your sandwich people are gonna look at you like what the hell are you doing and I'm like well I'm having lunch you know there was even that the people were giving looks at me <laughs> and finally I decided not to make eye contact you know because <laughs> apparently mm, just the uh, hobos eat out on the street at least in this town 
and in Enschede. I don't know, I probably... <laughs> this doesn't happen in Amsterdam. But yeah, they were all giving me the look, so I ended up, you know, looking to the... straight up. And what was that? I just, <laughs> you know, I just, uh, I just ended up looking nowhere in particular, not making eye contact because I was feeling a little bit self-conscious and the weather is crazy you guys it's raining then but this is really beautiful then it's sunny then it's cold then it's hot then you're sweaty then you get cold again and yeah what do you know the glass building i hope i hope i can get a ticket because this is becoming like a challenge of some sort you know going to visit this palace <laughs> entrance to the palace there was an extra payment to see the hats of the former queen um, yeah I can do without and then I asked is there some kind of uh, guide that I can take or something just you know to know what I'm visiting what I'm seeing and yeah the gentleman the gentleman that was selling the tickets he gave me just one and it was two euros and he told me like well normally it's two years but today it's on me <laughs> and I'm like okay thank you very much have a very nice day I don't know people in here like I cannot stress this enough like I have never been treated wrong in any country but in here in the Netherlands people are real real friendly so it's really nice place to come visit you know I'm gonna shut up for a little bit but oh here here's the thing in Spain well I know that you know that everybody knows that Italian and Spaniards we are loud people and in here I feel like almost like my jaw heart hurts you know because nobody speaks on the street or they speak really low like there's people around here and <laughs> I am not I am blowing my voice tone It's a nice apartment. <laughs> this is wow. I am wowed. And this is just the entryway. Now I'm gonna take some pictures with my camera, you know, for the family and stuff and visit. Which, of course, <laughs> you know, this is what I'm here for. But I just wanted to show you Jesus Christ. See you in the gardens or something. Bye. You guys, real quick. Jesus Christ, this palace is humongous. It was like a museum inside. I tried to film a clip just real fast, but there was no filming, no loud speaking, no nothing. I am exhausted and it's just 3 p.m. But I could really use a bed right now. I am so tired and tomorrow my friend wants to show me around and I'm really thankful for that. But I also am really tired. It's I mean, he's got to work here in the week, so we're gonna maybe if he wants to go around on Sunday and on Saturday, maybe we can chill around in Enschede. This is just the beginning of the gardens. Not to be disrespectful to the British crown, but I think this is way bigger. This is not as big as Balmoral, not as big as the palaces that there are in Madrid but you know this palace in here is way bigger than Buckingham Palace you know I just have a banana left and a little bit of water and I thought is this tour ever gonna end you know room after room after room at wow it was mesmerizing you guys mesmerizing it was really beautiful here you can see it's all oh my goodness gracious it's so beautiful but again, I got to a point that I really wanted, you know, uh, maybe just to sit down and chill. And here is a fountain. It's really beautiful. There are two fountains in the middle. There's a sculpture and here. It's a globe. And uh, you can see 
and there were this uh, British tourist and we were the only ones you know that were not local because uh, yeah I don't know why maybe in the summertime more tourists come around I don't know whether the Japanese went but you know what there's a long way up till I have to <laughs> have to walk all the way then take whichever bus then uh, cross all the town and then go to the railway and then don't mess up and hop on the train and fortunately my friend lives five minutes away from the train station but look what I see here they use coffee filters as well to fertilize we do that also in Spain we don't uh, keep the coffee filters but I don't know I, I don't know I always heard that coffee is good for the plants this is really gorgeous this is really beautiful but it's got it's gotten to a point that I gotta admit that uh, yeah coming on your own at least you should be staying here for the night or something because this is kind of crazy it's once in a lifetime adventure <laughs> but I kid you not I am so ready to take a seat I cannot feel my neck my shoulders hurt so bad <laughs> it's fucking crazy but this is really beautiful and I guess down that way on that entryway there there's gotta be the maze I don't know if I'll vlog because honestly my shoulders hurt my neck hurts everything hurts but it's gorgeous so I cannot promise anything but I guess we could all live around here, right? <laughs> See ya! Okay, you guys, this park is ginormous. Um, that's it. I'm calling it quits. That's it for today. I am beyond exhausted and I still have to get back to Enschede. <laughs> so, yeah. As you can see, this is truly beautiful. And with this, I'm saying goodbye. And it's just 3 p.m. How sad is this? I'm really tired, you guys. <laughs> Really truly tired. But yeah, at least I've entered the park. <laughs> Bye!